Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we got a developer level video for you, but I'm marking it easy because you only need one line of code to do this, but you gotta know where to put that one line of code. So today we're gonna learn how to zoom on click. In other words, when you click on a field that you designate, like your notes field here, just click on it and poof, the zoom window will pop up. Nice and easy, right? No, no longer do you have to remember to use Shift F2, which your users probably forget anyways. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with just a single click. Now, even though this is easy, I got a couple prerequisites for you first. If you don't know what the zoom box is, go watch this video and I'll fully explain it. Basically, you can zoom into any field you want. You hit Shift F2 and poof, there's a zoom box. Now, like I said, we will only be using one line of VBA code, but if you've never done any VBA programming before, go watch this video first. Don't worry, it's not scary. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started. And then you come back and watch this video. Oh, and there's one more you should watch too. Watch my on click event button. This we're gonna use the on click today. So when we click on that field, the event runs and opens up the zoom box. But go watch this if you wanna learn more about on click. These are all free videos. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. Go watch those and then come on back. All right, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab a copy off my website if you want to. Now, the nice thing about the zoom is if you can remember it's Shift F2, you can click on it and zoom in anywhere, right? I use it a lot for class, right? You can use it in tables and queries. Like if you open up a query and you want to get in here, you can zoom in. You can use it in design view. I use it all the time in design view, right? Like we're opening this up. I want to go into here. I want to see what the record source might be. I'll click over here, hit shift F2. It's system wide. Well, system meaning inside of access, right? Can't use it in like, uh, you know, your, your other program that you listen to music with. But anyways, the problem that we sometimes have is that it's such a neat tool for us as developers. And I can remember shift F2 but do your users, right? So you might wanna have it so that when you click on the notes field, it'll just pop up the zoom window automatically, right? Or you could make it, you could put it in a button if you want to as well. I'll show you both methods. First, let's put it in the on click event of this notes field here. I do, I do this for a few fields in my personal database because there are a couple fields that I like to keep small, but just so I can see that there are notes in there, but then if I wanna read them, I click on the field and it pops up the zoom box. All right, so open up the properties. And if you don't know what I just did, by the way, I just double clicked on the border here, or you can right click and come down to properties. It's off the screen, but it's there. Okay. All right. Now find the events tab, find on click. We're going to click the dot, dot, dot builder button over there. That's going to open up your VBA code window. You don't need this over here. This is project Explorer. We can turn that off. All right. So I'm in notes click. You're ready. It's one line of code. It's going to be do command dot run command. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. You're going to type in AC CMD zoom. Now ignore all of these with numbers on them. Those are for reports. That's so you can change the zoom level of a report, right? 20%, 150%. Ignore all those come down to the bottom. Ignore selection too. We don't want that one. That's also for reports. What you want is this guy right here. AC command zoom box that opens up the zoom box. That's it. You're done. Now, every time you click on the notes field, that command will run, right? Save it, debug compile once in a while, make sure your code is all good. We can close it, close it, close it, open it. And now when I click on this box here, look at that, pops right up for me. And I can hit cancel or you can hit okay. If you hit cancel, by the way, it ignores any edits. If you put a bunch of edits in here and you hit cancel, it doesn't save those. But if you do click on it, you hit OK, it'll save your changes. That's important. I've made some changes before and then hit cancel and I'm like, ah, oh. so don't do that. Now, if you think you might want to sometimes be able to click on this, if you find that annoying, if you want to maybe put like a little zoom button down here, you can do that too. Sometimes I'll do that. Let me just get rid of these for the purposes of class. Let me turn off that on click event. I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to rem that out so it doesn't fire. Okay. And we can put the same thing in a little button. All right, maybe I uh, just copy and paste that button. I'll slide it under here. We'll put zoom in it. All right, and you can make it small. You can change the color. You can do it all you want. Give it a name. Otherwise, Alex will yell at us. Zoom button. All right, right click, build event. Build event's the same thing as the click for a button. 
And then we'll just copy and paste this guy. Watch this. Copy and paste. All right. Save it. Debug compile once in a while. We can close it. Close it. Close it. Open it. Ready. Click. Oh. Actually, the command zoom box isn't available now. Why did that happen? What's going on? Well, debug can't run it. Hmm. Let me think about this for a minute. This runs, this opens up the zoom command. Oh, but you know what? When we click on a button, we're sitting on the button. Can't zoom into a button, can you? So we just have to move the focus of where the cursor is, right? Which control has focus. Focus is where the cursor is sitting. So we're going to say right here, we're just going to say notes.set focus. We're going to move to the notes box, then click that button, then run the zoom command. Ready? All right. Save it. Close it. Close it again. I always close my forms anytime I make a VBA change. That's just a personal habit. It makes sure everything resets clean. Now when I click the button, watch what happens. Boom. It moves the focus there first and then runs the code. Okay. If you want to learn more about set focus, go watch this video. Yeah, I got videos for pretty much everything. <laughs> All right, one more quick thing, and then I'm going to let you go. I said I was going to keep this easy, and I am, but wouldn't it be nice if this button worked with any of these fields? Ooh, check this out. Watch this, design view. I'm just going to move this over here so no one thinks it's associated with this guy. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to say go back to what the last field that you were on was. Okay, right click, build event. And instead of setting focus back on the notes field, I'm going to say screen dot previous control dot set focus. In other words, whatever control you were on last, set the focus to it. Now, because it might have been a button or something else, you might not be able to then run that. So I'm going to throw an on error resume next here. That just says if you do encounter an error, just ignore it. So if the user was on another button first and they try to run this, nothing will just, nothing will happen, right? But if they were on a text box or something you can zoom into, it will zoom in, all right? Debug compile, close it, close it, save changes, yes. Open her up. Now, if I click on the notes field and then hit zoom, it goes back to the notes field, okay? If I click on my last name and hit zoom, it zooms into the last name field. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Go to the country, zoom. All right. Now, if I happen to be on something like a checkbox that you can't zoom into, nothing happens. It just does. You could pop up an error message if you want to, but that involves a little more error handling, right? Like if I'm on a button, let me tab over to a different button. Let me get over there. Let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm on the contacts button now. If I hit zoom, nothing happens. But if you are on something like that and you hit zoom, look at that. See? Pretty cool. If you want to learn about that previous control, property. I got a video on that and it's close cousin, which is active control. This is, you can do some cool stuff with the, with the, the control that you're actively on right now. Right. And in my original zoom video, the first one I told you to go watch in the extended cut, I show you a trick how to make the field itself larger. So it doesn't open the zoom box. It just makes the field bigger. Right. So here's the extended cut. Let me zoom in for you so you can see it better. See, you click on the field and it just makes the field bigger. It makes the font size larger and all that stuff. So that's covered in the extended cut for the original Zoom video that I showed you. Do you like this stuff? Do you like learning with me? Do you want to learn more VBA? As you can see with just one line of code or just a couple lines of code, you can make your database do some really cool stuff. And in my developer course, I show you all the cool tricks like this to make your databases awesome and powerful and cool and worthy of Starfleet. I don't know. <laughs> I got some advanced stuff that I show you too. So check it out. You'll find a link down below. But that's going to do it for today, folks. I hope you learned something. That's your tech help video. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more.
Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject. And you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.